there's a new mom in town. <laughs> and we're having a baby. I'm so excited, you guys, to share this moment with you. I've never done a vlog before. I've never actually sat down and, um, you know, connected with you guys and shared this kind of stuff about my life. But I feel like this is such an important moment and I want to. I want to share with you guys and I want all your feedback and comments and I want you guys to teach me things too. So. How do you know it's the right time to have a baby? We knew this year we wanted to get pregnant. We just didn't know when. Um, and a lot of that was me because I had a lot of things I wanted to do this year. Like I had a whole power booty tour planned and that was super important to me. I was so driven with my career and had a lot of things I wanted to accomplish um, before that chapter came into play. But you just... You just have to make the time and you just have to do it or else life's just going to pass you by and you know, you don't want that. I wanted to have a family so I knew, um, you know, we just had to do it this year. We had to do it this year and we were ready. I feel like I also wanted to, we got married two years ago. We just had our two year wedding anniversary. I also wanted to have that time with my husband. I didn't want to just get married and all of a sudden start a family. I felt like it was really important that I could be selfish with him, with our time together, we wanted to travel, and yeah, I wanted to give him all of me without having any distractions of little kids because the love I have for my husband is so, it's so much that I can only imagine the love I'm gonna have for my child. So, and you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to share and split that love and those first years of being married, like. I don't want to share that with anyone. I wanted to give it all to him and I wanted him to give it all to me. So I feel like for us, I feel like two years, like our two year wedding anniversary, we got pregnant this year. I feel like it was perfect timing. You know, I wanted that time with my husband and then everything else in your life that you're trying to accomplish, you just, I don't know, you just got to fit it in. But having that time with Brian, uh, for me was important. So some of you guys wanted to know how long it took Brian and I to get pregnant. Um, we made the decision this year, like the end of January, we are wanting to start a family this year. So that was our goal. Um, I just didn't know when because I still had so many things that I wanted to do and accomplish and I would kind of always let those things like get in the way um, because I was just so career driven that I don't know, I just wanted to get more stuff done. But there's always going to be more stuff and it's never going to be the right time. So I just kind of threw my hands up and I was like, you know what, let's just let's just start trying. So February, um, we started trying and my girlfriend was like, you need an ovulation kit. And I was like, I don't, I don't want to get any kits or do anything just yet. I just want to have fun and see what happens. So February, nothing happened. And I was like, oh okay, this might be a, a little harder than, you know, what I thought this was going to be. I thought we were just going to, like, you know, get pregnant on the first shot. Um, but that didn't happen. So then I was like, all right, maybe I should go get this ovulation kit and see what it's all about. And so I get the kit. I pee on it. I'm waiting for this happy face. I never get the happy face. I'm all bummed. I'm like, oh my gosh, something's wrong with me. I need to go to the doctor. Like, how come I'm not getting a happy face? And Brian's like, babe, you probably just like missed it. Like, you don't even know how, this thing could be broken. We don't know if this is even working. So then I go to the doctor and I ask her like, can you tell me if I'm ovulating? Like, I'm getting my period on a regular basis. And she's like, look, yeah, you're ovulating. You probably just missed, you know, the day that you were ovulating, but make sure you know, only a few days after your period, you start peeing on this and try to figure out when you're ovulating. I'm like, okay, so this is this is gonna be a little tricky. So then the next month, um, we got some sad news. Brian's grandfather had passed away and he went back home to Michigan to be um, with his family and went to the funeral. And at that point, I had booked um, a commercial, a uh, national commercial with Planet Fitness. So I was, I was here filming. Um, but I got a happy face. Of course, I get a happy face and we're not even together. 
So it was kind of bittersweet. I like, you know, took a picture of the happy face. I sent it to him and he was like, oh, like with the, send me the emoji with like the crying tear. And I was like, I know. So we're like, well, we just have to, you know, try it the next month. So then, so that was February, March, April. So then April rolls around. I get the happy face. I'm like, oh, this is what's crazy too. I started then, after I finished my period or whatever, I actually, something told me like, even though I wasn't supposed to be ovulating, something told me, go pee on this stick. I peed on the stick, I got a happy face, which was so weird because it was so early on in my cycle. Like I was like, there's no way. I'm like showing Brian, I'm like, this, is, this doesn't make sense. Like now I'm really confused. So then whatever, we get the happy face that night, that night is going down. Then the next day I pee on it, I get a happy face. And the next day I get a happy face. And I'm like, I, I don't get this thing. Is this, is this, this has to be broken. Maybe I should just go get another one. I'm very confused. I don't know what, what my ovulation is. So anyways, we were just having fun that whole entire month. And kind of just throwing our hands up like, well, I don't know if this is going to be the month we get pregnant. But, you know, you know, it's in God's hands. We'll see. So I really was confused and I wasn't thinking that that was going to be the month that we got pregnant, but we actually did. So we were just so like, oh my, just shocked. Like, wow, it was amazing. It was such a blessing. Um, and yeah, so it actually only took us two months, um, but it was still confusing and it's still something I don't understand. Um, I wish I could give you guys more advice other than... Get an ovulation kit, um, pee on it, wait for the happy face, have some fun with your loved one, and don't put so much stress on it. That would be like the best advice I can give you, and I know it is so hard to do because we wanted to have a baby so bad this year, and we put a lot of pressure on that, and I think everyone says like that does affect it, and it gets in, a w it gets in the way, and it does. Um, so the month where we were both kind of just like, eh, whatever, that literally ended up being the month that we got pregnant. So just keep trying. Um, don't put too much pressure on it. And yeah, it will happen for you. I promise you it will. There's always a way.